All right, meteorologist Colin Campbell back here with us as we continue to track Hurricane Melissa. Yeah, uh, Emerald Hurricane Melissa is turning out to be the worst case scenario for Jamaica. This will be the strongest hurricane that we have on record to strike Jamaica and the way that it is going to make landfall. It's coming in from the south, really on the western end. So I'll explain what I mean here in just a second. Let's look at the track first. We're looking at a projected landfall around Tuesday morning as a potential category five hurricane with winds around 160 miles per hour. The strongest hurricane that we have on record with a direct strike that came in from the east was back in 1988, about 37 years ago, it was a category three. This is a category five potential category five hurricane that will make landfall from the southern end there. And the problem with that is the worst of the weather will be on that right or east side. Moving forward toward Cuba now, this will pass through Tuesday, make an approach for southeast Cuba as we enter into Tuesday night, Wednesday, and then from there, it will make a run for the Bahamas, perhaps Turks and Caicos. That can change that track. We're still a couple days away from that, but we're looking at the timeline for Wednesday and Thursday. For now, Turks and Caicos, I would get your hurricane prep plans in order. It's better to be overprepared than underprepared, right? As we move forward into the upcoming week around Thursday, yes, the storm will still be out there making an approach for Bermuda, believe it or not. All right, so getting into the forecast storm winds, this is very important because, of course, my graphic doesn't want to cooperate but on the side where the storm surge will be coming in with that counterclockwise rotation, that's where we will have the most dangerous surge for this hurricane. Basically, areas like Kingston, I'm going to show you on this graphic because that other one sped by, that eastern side, all of those coastal communities could be inundated with water. We're telling everybody now to move to higher ground ahead of Tuesday morning. Do it as soon as possible. This is something that you do not want to joke around with. Also, on top of that, they are going to have more rainfall. They've already received a lot of rain for portions of Hispaniola. Uh, the rain will start to pick up in pace for Jamaica and Cuba within the next 24 to 48 hours. Those winds will be picking up speed as well. Some areas could gather 30 to 40 inches of rain easily.